Welcome to this presentation of ST Microelectronics Automotive Power MOSFETs intended for electric power steering and hybrid electric vehicle applications. After looking at ST's portfolio of power MOSFET technologies dedicated to automotive applications, we will give a brief overview of how electronic power steering or EPS and hybrid electric vehicle or HEV systems operate. We will review the device characteristics that are required and which ST technologies can be used in each application. We can see here all the standard applications in the automotive segment where power MOSFETs are used. Safety and chassis, which includes electric power steering, body electronics, powertrain, and infotainment. In recent years, hybrid electric vehicles have been launched on the market. Power MOSFETs are used widely inside these new vehicles in the DC-DC and AC-DC converter blocks and for the main inverter when VBUS is below 200 volts. All the main needs in the automotive segment are covered by ST's technologies. The traditional low voltage segments between 20 and 100 volts of infotainment, safety and chassis, powertrain and body electronics Use the StripFET family with traditional planar technology and the new Trench family StripFET 6 deep gate devices. In the medium voltage range, StripFET 2 covers powertrain and DC-DC blocks. Lastly, the high voltage technologies required for AC-DC and DC-DC converters inside HEV for cars and for high intensity discharge lamp driver blocks are covered by the SuperMesh standard technology as well as the Super Junction MD Mesh and FD Mesh technologies. These images show the evolution in the StripFET 3 technology toward the new Trench StripFET 6 deep gate technology, where the density of elementary equivalent cells has been improved. The normalized channel perimeter, or NCP, has been increased, consequently decreasing RCH. This has resulted in an overall improvement of the on resistance or RDS on times area from StripFET 3 to Trench StripFET 6 deep gate technologies. Let's look at the low voltage technologies in more detail. StripFET 2 and StripFET 3 are both planar technologies, as you can see on the right. StripFET 2, suitable for breakdown voltages up to 300 volts, has been widely used by our major automotive customers for many years now and is very effective for applications where the power MOSFET must operate under linear conditions, as in fan control, for example. StripFET 3 has a better on-resistance times area, about 30% less than StripFET 2, and covers applications where a breakdown voltage up to 75 volts is required. This technology, which is used in Power SO10 packages with a ribbon bonding technique, ensures one of the lowest on resistances now available on the market, with 1.5 milliohm at 40 volts. For applications that require devices with a breakdown voltage up to 40 volts, StripFET 5, which is also a planar technology, offers some improvements over the previous generation. The metal layer shape, the vertical contact micro trench between source and body and the drain engineering have improved the on resistance. A JFET effect enhancement through the higher doping of the highlighted area also contributes to the on resistance improvement. Use of a double oxide thickness also optimizes the dynamic performances because the value of QG is reduced. StripFET 6 deep gate is a trench technology as seen by the vertical section in the slide, where the channel is vertical instead of horizontal, as in the planar technology. In this way, the on-resistance times area is lower than for the StripFET 5 technology. The devices belonging to this technology are recommended for pure switching applications, and also where the breakdown voltage required is below 60 volts. NK-type SuperMesh is a standard technology, as you can see in the vertical section in the upper diagram, and is used for breakdown voltages up to 1,000 volts. It is a rugged technology that is already qualified for automotive grade. The main segments addressed are AC-DC and DC-DC converters 
intended particularly for HEV. NM type MD mesh is a multi junction technology, as you can see in the vertical section in the lower diagram, and improves on resistance times area by about 30% compared to super mesh. The technology is automotive grade qualified. There is also a fast diode version, identified by the suffix D on the part number, and this is suitable in half bridge and full bridge converter topologies. MD Mesh technology has been enhanced with the MD Mesh 2 generation, with further improvements in the on resistance times area. Power steering is driven by the vehicle engine and lightens the effort required to turn the steering wheel. Traditional power steering uses a hydraulic system, whereas electric power steering uses an electric motor to provide directional control without any hydraulic system. When the driver turns the steering wheel, the electric motor applies power assistance to the steering. Electric systems have a slight advantage in fuel efficiency because there is no belt-driven hydraulic pump constantly running, whether assistance is required or not, and this is a major reason for their use. Another major advantage is the elimination of a belt-driven engine accessory and several high-pressure hydraulic hoses between the hydraulic pump mounted on the engine and the steering gear mounted on the chassis. This greatly simplifies manufacturing and maintenance. The reduction of CO2 emission is also another benefit. So overall, EPS is a cheaper and more flexible solution than a hydraulic pump. This slide shows the main blocks that compose an electric power steering system. The microcontroller unit, the steering column torsion sensor, the PWM control driver, and the power stage, highlighted in yellow, that includes several power MOSFETs. The power stage of an EPS is generally composed of a three-phase bridge converter that drives a three-phase brushless DC motor up to one kilowatt. Each switch of the three-phase converter is implemented with one or more power MOSFETs in parallel. When only one power MOSFET is used for each switch, it generally requires a device which has a breakdown voltage between 30 and 55 volts and an on resistance down to 0.7 milliohms at die level if a 40 volt device is selected. The ST technologies for this type of converter are StripFET 3 and the Trench StripFET 6 deep gate if very low on resistances are required and also in the case of space constraints. Now let's look at Hybrid Electric Vehicles, or HEV. Hybrid electric vehicles combine a conventional internal combustion engine propulsion system with an electric propulsion system. The presence of the electric powertrain is intended to achieve better fuel economy than a conventional vehicle, or better performance. A variety of types of HEV exist, and the degree to which they function as EVs varies as well. The most common form of HEV is the hybrid electric car, although hybrid electric trucks and buses also exist. Many HEVs reduce idle emissions by shutting down the combustion engine at idle and restarting it when needed. This is known as a start-stop system. Modern HEVs make use of efficiency-improving technologies such as regenerative braking, which converts the vehicle's kinetic energy into battery-replenishing electric energy. A hybrid electric vehicle produces fewer emissions from its combustion engine than a comparably-sized gasoline car, as an HEV's gasoline engine is usually smaller than a pure fossil fuel vehicle, and if not used to directly drive the car, it can be geared to run at maximum efficiency, further reducing the fuel cost. Here we can see an example of HEV system partitioning with the main blocks that are generally included. In this case, we have a 75 kilowatt main combustion engine plus a 70 kilowatt electric motor. The blocks where power MOSFETs are commonly used are highlighted in blue. These are the DC-AC converter to supply the climate compressor, power steering and engine cooling, the AC-DC block for battery charging, the DC-DC converter as auxiliary inverter, and a further AC-DC block where a power outlet inside the car is available. In the main inverters, shown in yellow, for a high-voltage DC bus higher than 300 volts, 
IGBTs are commonly used. Let's look at the DC-AC block in detail. The power stage of the DC-AC block used to supply, for example, the climate compressor, power steering, and engine cooling is a three-phase full-bridge converter, like the one already seen in the EPS section. If it is supplied directly by the 12-volt DC bus as shown below, the suitable ST power MOSFET technologies are StripFET 3 and Trench StripFET 6 deep gate, if a very low on resistance is required and in the case of space constraints. When a high voltage DC bus is available, as in the upper diagram, a PWM signal drives an optocoupler at the input stage of the system. Looking at the power stage on the right, in this case a strip FET2 up to VDSS equals 300 volts for a DC voltage bus below 200 volts is recommended, or super mesh and multi-junction MD mesh MD mesh 2 for a higher DC voltage bus. Now let's look at the DC DC auxiliary inverter block. This diagram shows the power stage of a 1.5 kilowatt bidirectional DC DC converter for the auxiliary power supply for electric loads in hybrid electrical vehicles. Compared to traditional DC-DC converters for similar applications, this topology has the advantage of being a simple circuit capable of bidirectional energy transfer from the 12-volt DC bus and the high-voltage DC bus used for transaction. We can distinguish two sections, the low-voltage and the high-voltage one. For the low voltage section, the suitable ST technologies are Strip FET 3, Strip FET 5, and the Trench Strip FET 6 deep gate. The high voltage section can be addressed with Strip FET 2 up to VDSS equals 300 volts if a high voltage bus below 200 volts is used, or Super Mesh and MD Mesh for higher DC voltage buses. Now let's look at the lithium ion battery charging block. The battery charger shown here as an example is a 3 kilowatt H bridge converter with PFC section. A power MOSFET is also used for reverse battery protection as seen at the bottom right of the diagram. The suitable ST power MOSFET technology for this block is multi-junction as found with MD mesh, MD mesh 2 and FD mesh 2 since high efficiency and high power has to be handled. Finally, let's look at the AC power outlet block. One great feature of HEVs is that a high power AC outlet can be made available for users to plug in their high power home appliances, such as hair dryers, power tools, and refrigerators. In current HEVs, the AC voltage outlet is developed by connecting a power conversion circuit to the high voltage battery, as shown here. In this circuit, the voltage from the high-voltage battery is first converted to a high-frequency AC voltage, then fed to the high-frequency isolation transformer. Following the transformer, the AC voltage is converted to DC again by a rectifier. After the rectifier, the DC voltage is changed to AC voltage again by the two-level DC-AC converter. This time, the resulting AC voltage has the output frequency and amplitude required by appliances. Both in the primary and secondary section of the converter, high voltage power MOSFETs are needed. Devices from the Super Mesh, MD Mesh, MD Mesh 2, and FD Mesh 2 families are suitable for this block. Electric power steering, found in many new combustion engine cars, and the main DC DC and AC DC converters inside hybrid electric vehicles, offer good opportunities for power semiconductors and particularly for power MOSFETs. ST has the state-of-the-art technology to address this market with the right devices at the right cost. For breakdown voltages less than 300 volts, with planar strip FET 2, 3, and 5, and with the new trench strip FET 6 deep gate, and for higher voltages over 400 volts, with the super mesh and MD mesh, MD mesh 2, with or without a fast diode, where lower on resistance or higher efficiency are required. For more details on these topics, you can visit the Power MOSFET and automotive web pages at st.com. Thank you.